It is time now for Trading Nation. Let's get spicy and trade Chipotle. Earnings set to cross. Investors eagerly waiting to find out if customers are coming back to Chipotle after the health scare earlier this year. That stock down 35% in the past 12 months. Ari Wald of Oppenheimer. Boris Schlossberg of BK Asset Management, your guest. Boris Schlossberg, you think that CMG is a good buy, a turnaround story, or a stock to be avoided? Um, I think it's a good buy. You know, one of the best ways to make money in the market is, is to buy great companies when they stumble. And it appears, I think, that, you know, uh, Chipotle has gotten a handle on all of its health problems. Um, and now at this point, really seems to be seeing a resurgence. If you look at Twitter, if you look at social media, there's a lot more posts now about the lines being back at Chipotle. The second reason why I think it's kind of interesting on a long-term basis is because they're expanding into Europe. And I think if they can catch in Europe, that's a huge new market for them that could be very interesting. And I think their menu palette could actually be very, very attractive to the Europeans. So, yes, I think it's an interesting buy at this point, given the fact that they've, they've been able to solve all their health problems going forward. All right, Wald, the chart, I don't know, man. It had a nice <laughs> run for years, and now it's kind of overlaunched like an awning filled with snow. But is that just kind of a short-term reaction? What does the chart on CMG look like? No, that's my assessment of it as well, Brian, as, as far as your, your, your introduction there, that this is a bearish trend and <clears throat> investing is too difficult uh, to buy bearish trends. And I would be staying away from this one. I don't think the trend has come around enough. Now, listen, the, the stock has been beaten up and we are indeed seeing some signs of stabilization at this $400 level. This is a very important level. We've seen it base here. Uh, I guess I'm a, a little bit more concerned because the stock is still trading below its 200-day moving average, still in, in a defined downtrend, and really hasn't been able to get through that $440 mark. That's That's been the, the key resistance level. So how we see it, kind of more in a, a trading range environment here, probably you're going to see some volatility post earnings. We'd rather, if you get a pop, to sell it rather than if you get a drop to buy it. So overall, we think there's better opportunities for your fund right here, Brian. It's a bull market. Yeah. Why buy the bearish trends? All right. And snow-filled awning, not a true technical term. <laughs> I just kind of you know, did that on my own. Ari, thank you. He doesn't like it. Boris Schlossberg, bullish on the stock, in part because of Europe, guys. That's why we do it this way. Thank you. For more Trading Nation, go to our website, tradingnation.cnbc.com. The best method for reviewing trades is to keep a trading journal. When you enter a trade, write down the reasons you went into the trade and the conditions under which you will exit, both for profit and loss, and take a screenshot of the chart. When the trade is completed, take another screenshot of the chart and look to see if you followed your initial plan. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.